Is it true you walked from Montego Bay to Kingston? Yes, I walked from Montego Bay to Kingston uh, in 1999. So I got a, I got a, I got a, a job from the Observer to photograph anchovies railroad. Um, it was so the, the line was supposed to come back on on. They were supposed to bring the line back on 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 a very short term. I we had no idea when, but. The observer was like, you know, there are people living on the train line. Why don't you go and see how they're living and document their lives? I mean, what would they do with the line if the train line came back? Would they have to move? So when I went up there, I saw that there were ac people actually living right beside the, the train line. And if the, the train actually came back online, these people would lose their houses. And so I asked myself, how much more of this is happening all the way? from Montague Bay to Kingston. So I decided to do a project on it. The thing is I was also understudying with this photographer from Montague Bay. And so he said to me, why don't we just do it every Sunday? We walk 10 miles and we take a taxi back to where the car is parked and just do it, do it like that. And then we got to halfway of the trip and he told me to stop photographing. I should just write because I know that you're a writer because you work for The Observer. Little did he know that I wasn't a claffy. What he was basically saying to me was, I got it from here. I'm going to take it. And that's what he did, basically. I mean, he, the images ended up in hotels. It ended up in the airport. I mean, I would, I would visit and I would see my project in the airport. And, I, and, I, and it taught me a valuable lesson. It taught me the lesson that, you know, money is a great component in moving forward projects. And if you don't have the money, you don't share your project. Because somebody who has the money will take it and advance your project. And it's funny, since then he hasn't done anything like that. And my entire career has been about advocating or amplifying the voice of poor people. What life lessons did you learn? Humility was one of the biggest ones. Um, and not just there's a, there's, there's a very narcissistic way to, look up, to talk about humility. Like, you know, you learn based on your... It was everywhere between Montego Bay and what everybody called country. St. Elizabeth, even further, that people offered me June plum, coconut. When I got from, let's say, Spanish Town into Kingston, everybody was like, what you want, what you can give me. And I realized that the people who should have had are the ones asking me. The ones who don't have anything were offering their, their everything. And it, that was the biggest lesson for that 121 miles. Well, let me hear you say, my